So we're, go we're going over two games today. Two games we're going over. We're going to go over both of these games were played on Taijem. Both of these players, both of these games were played by professionals on Taijem. And both of them are extremely, extremely unfortunate. Now, these games were played by a player. It goes by the ID of KISS88, the capital K. And they are both quite unfortunate games. The first game is kind of interesting. Because there's usually things that you expect out of a game that would tell you if you are or are not winning said game. And we're going to see a little bit of that in this one. An indication that maybe we're ahead. Alas, we do not win the game. So, Cassidia is black in this. Nope, second one is interesting, but this one's a bit more interesting. Second one's interesting because of a Ko. And Ko are interesting, to be fair. But... I know what the masses like to see before that. So here we have low Chinese, standard approach, straight into corner, in to ignore and play away. He wants to play a bit more aggressive. Usually we go like this, and this, not that, that's bad, and this, and this, and this, and then we do this. And now we have an option of, like, descending or playing the hot A. Pretty set in... St pretty set in stone, right? So he plays here and goes away. Guess he's not interested in playing Long Chiseki right now. So, okay, White says, I'm gonna get Sente, I'm not gonna pincer you. Changes his mind on which uh, one to pick, and approaches again. So it looks like all he's interested in right now is like fighting. He just wants to start conflict on the board. So all right, kicks and backs away, which I thought is a little bit strange, but then I realized, oh, well, you can't really play here, I don't think. Because if he plays low, uh, a little bit tight, if we throw in and live, which we will. And if we play here, we can, like, put more pressure on it. So what's black going to do? Black tries to play this one. That one. There we go. He plays high. White takes large point away. If we take this one, then the framework's been completed. And then we're going to probably maybe approach here, and that's exactly what our opponent wants us to do. And generally speaking, we don't want to do exactly what our opponent wants us to do. That's usually a bad thing. So clearly we're not going to do that, right? So yeah, clearly not doing that one. So we play this. Now, if we wind up playing here, then our opponent backing off to here is a little awkward because we can't really grow this area a bit, you know? Black chooses life. Now this move is interesting. He's trying to create a fight here. Like maybe his opponent plays something like this. I don't know what you would do with his influence. Admittedly, I have no idea. If, like, black lives, I don't know what white does here. Like, maybe we play this, and then it comes out. And then we play here. Something like that. I guess I'd be okay. That's kind of cool. But black comes out. Hello, Pistol PTV. Going over an unfortunate game. Very unfortunate game. So white's attacking. Let's see how much damage white manages to do with his attack. Turns, connects. Trying to get 
bases here. Try and use all the odd J to see what we can do. Very interesting position. This lower right hand corner is like getting into a huge fight immediately. So we expect interesting things. We see this. Looks like Black's getting influence. Okay. Now now I see where this is headed. A lot of fighting, a lot of weird stuff going on, but now it's kind of like uh, going back to something that everyone can follow. Influence versus territory, right? Cool. Till this happens. We can't Atari, otherwise our stones are dead. So we have to back off there. Problem. We can't Atari here, because we're dead again. Right? If we Atari here, this extends, we take, and then we die. That's unfortunate. So we can't do that. This cut actually works despite it being a double Atari. Despite that, it actually works. So it plays the Atari instead. Connects. Connects. Does not give it up. So it looks like right now we're giving up a lot. So many stones right now are in danger for black. It looks like white's getting an amazing uh, sequence here. Boom, stones are dead. Black encloses. White's like, hey, can I invade this? Does anyone know why this invasion is uh, normal? And I was not using KGS audio. I'm sorry about that. Do you know what we're trying to do here? Why we're actually playing this attachment? Two reasons. Two reasons why we're playing here. There is an if-or situation. Or if-else, I guess you'd say. It is an asking move. It's asking how you're going to respond. There's there's two real ways of responding here. Uh, way one is to say we're going to play here, and then we've got forcing moves. Right? We can get a bit of base here. Given the liberty shortage, maybe even play this one. So it looks like we've got that. Or way we can play here, and then later on we can do something like this and threaten life in the corner. Which is why you probably see R17 a lot in regards to this enclosure. Because it's asking, am I going to live on the inside? Am I going to live on the outside? How am I living? How am I living? How am I living? Black said outside is mine. White said these stones are mine. Black said, OK, then this is mine. So this is interesting so far. A lot of Aji still, and Black's lost a bunch of stones. And now he's growing, white is, into the middle while reducing black. So, uh, I don't know, that, that seems really big to me. That seems really big to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stones plus the corner in exchange for influence. Okay. Now this is a little weird. I thought that we would connect instead we just took. Oh, that was a bit strange. But all right. Going after more influence, it looks like. This is why white didn't care, apparently, because where's where's black going to go? Not, uh, not, not far, huh? And we're still developing? Still have dead? Can still live in the corner? I'd be kind of... I'd be kind of happy as white. 
I mean, sure, Black's got some influence, but, I mean, in terms of things that we can do right now, we've got, like, things that A we can do, we've got things that B we can do, we've got things that C we can do. There's, like, cool follow-ups over here for Aji. This area is not secured off yet. Um, kind of looks okay. Black cuts to maximize top. Love this move. That's just a little bit too deep, but it's got uh, potential. We threaten here because of the three stones. White does not get distracted and just keeps living. But he is too deep. And being too deep is important. So let's go back and look at that. This is like the sector line that we have to, con to contemplate as being under Black's influence. Anything beyond that runs the risk of getting surrounded. He obviously judged the risk to be A-OK. -okay. But still, this extended it further. And instead of coming out, and even now we're still exactly on that sector line, but instead of coming out, he's kind of going in trying to live, which allows for the peep and then take territory. So now we've got a, a three stone stick in the center of the board, turning into four that needs to not be dead. So there's that. Questions for you people. How would you try to live with the shtick? How do you try to live with the stick? Does anyone have any idea how to live with a stick? Because I'm sure a lot of people will agree this is a very sticky situation. But how does one live with a stick? What? do we do now that we have the stick running away is an interesting decision ring attachment m14 go in deeper that pun was painful today's been a day of painful puns Forcing moves. I like the idea of forcing that, forcing their, for, blah, 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 forcing moves there. Uh, so six two two. And the forcing move first that we're gonna look at is this one. Because black attacks, white's like, are you sure about this? And keep in mind, if you played here, for example, then. Contemplate the top. Contemplate the top right. The top right, the S15 move said, you can have my corner because there's, I want the outside, but the outside's now gone. Right? So this is an odd, odd exchange now. Have my corner and have the outside? What? That'd be weird. That would've been weird. So we're not going to play this move, we're going to play aggressively. Not give up the stones, ladder in for Aji, look at all this newfound Aji that's coming along on the board. No, 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 there we go. Turns, connects on up. Separation, okay. Try to keep the middle dead going after more stones in the lower right-hand corner because apparently these don't have enough friends. Plays the Hane, kills off those stones. Now I want to repeat right now that I spoiled the game and I told you that white wins. The reason why I say white wins is because it makes this board more interesting. We still have Aji in the upper right-hand corner to live as white. And yet, 
according to my counter, we have also killed off 15 stones of black. We've got three corners, and we're not locked out of the center. Now I want to repeat, this is a game that white's going to lose, which is why I said this is a very unfortunate game. Because I would be betting on white every time on this board. So all right, he goes for the middle. Now, there must be magic under his hat that he can pull out and show us a trick or two. So what's white going to do now? What is white going to do now? White does it again and tries to go to the center. I would be a little bit more careful, but maybe my counting sucks. I would be thinking that things like this are large enough. What does Squire Smitter say about that? Squire Smitter says it's a close game. Black wins by 4.5 if he gets the entire center of the board. I'm going to go ahead and say black should have played, white should have played here. Based on my rather amateurish reading and score estimator, I'm going to say this probably this is probably a better idea. So he's going all in. All or nothing, man. But I want to say maybe if he's leading right now, he doesn't have to be all or nothing because he's the one who's ahead. Maybe he doesn't need to fight right now. Know who I learned that idea from. But okay, here we go. This attachment gives the game away. I don't mean like, like loses the game. I mean, we now understand what he's got in mind. He's actually flirting with the idea of doing things with this group. He wants more. It's like, okay. Now we're trying to connect up, putting some pressure on. Black's just like, nope, Mill's mine. Forever. White asks, forever and ever? Forcing moves. Oh, so sad. Gotta keep our, gotta keep our profit. Those stones are dead, but it's okay. We can Atari and get out of here. Black's gonna kill the stick group and take the whole middle and the top. Good question, let's find out. He says the stick is mine. So white says, can I come in? The stick is yours, but it's okay. You can have the sticks because I have stones. <laughs> oh, we're just full of puns today. Gotta catch them all. Yup. Locking that down. Bam, all captured. Strengthening everything. Now this is a this is a really important uh point right here. Because if we play this right now, we're locked out of the middle. What's Squire Estimator say about that? Guestimator says white's ahead by 12-ish. But, but, but that's wrong because the left-hand side's still open. So if we keep the entire left-hand side, then we're okay. So white feels he's behind. So he says, I'm going to go here. I'm going to try to rescue the stick. Okay, try to rescue the stick. Poke. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Have to connect. We left bad shape behind. Oh, we left really bad shape behind little bit too much little bit too much 
If we connect, we're dead. And we probably just lost the game. So we have to play here. Which means black is to descend. And now we have to live in everything. If we get a, if we can actually do it though, we win. If we can just like live everywhere, we're fine. Right? That is very unfortunate, isn't it? Whole thing is unfortunate, man. The whole thing's unfortunate. So all right, can we live in here? Not that way. Looking for eyes. Oh my god, where are the eyes? We were in such a good position. We've killed so many stones. But there's just nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Black is strong everywhere. White resigns. White resigns. And that's very unfortunate. Because this professional Kiss88 on the Thai Gems has made one thing loud and clear. Even if you kill him, you're still gonna lose. That is very unfortunate. So that is game one. That is game one of the unfortunate games. Let's look at game two. Get rid of that, get rid of that. See, this time... Oh, Kiss is black in both of these? Is he really? I guess he is, yeah, okay. Alright, yeah, Kiss is black in both of these games. Alright, so this game opens up this way, with that being taken over there. Threatening Orthodox, or Chinese, or who knows what. This is very classic Thai gem. Who cares what direction our 3 4 stone in the lower right-hand corner is facing? We don't even care. We're just going to approach and start getting into fights because those are fun. White's like, I'm going to take territory now. Time to develop fast. Backs off into a micro Chinese. Pretty aggressive opening right there. I mean, we're leaving holes all over the place. But we're like, build a quick framework. Get him to come in and fight him again. Worked well last time. Alright, so white splits. Nice, calm, cool as you please. Don't want this stone to go to, uh, to our opponent. White ignores to fix his shape. That's pretty that's pretty peaceful. Yes, he did win last game. He killed his opponent after his opponent went in too deep, got cut off, and killed. Now this is a little bit weird because usually you don't want to ignore the split, but I guess he prioritized the left hand side of the board over the split on the right hand side, which is interesting. Because now White gets to uh, make an extension, and now we can't do cool things like, uh, you know, poke our opponent in the direction that we want, and then just, like, try to profit this way, like, classic. Like, we lose that now. We lose that ability. However, Kiss likes fighting, so he doesn't really care. He's like, you know what? I went into your corner. You didn't respond with D2, so I'm going to go into your corner. Clearly, he's better than Sente. Linking up. Denied. Alright. Now we see this, which is threatening to connect. And then we see this, which is threatening to make ourselves uncomfortable. Because if you read out the ladder, which I hope everyone can do, kind of goes on over to there right like off in that direction right over yonder has to defend owie plays a honey plays a honey 
Atari, and then it goes back for a kill. Because this is, this is a defense, right? We can't do this anymore. Right, right, right? So it looks like we're killing the corner. Black doesn't care. He's going after more in the center. So that's an interesting result right there. Now you might say, but wait a minute, it's fine because white can poke out through here, but that's not quite true. We just double Hane. And if our opponent does this, we Atari. And then the you know things are dead. Because if we take now, we do this, and then we do that, and then this is this is dead, right? Everyone can read that out. So the double here is really, really cool. And that's a lot of strength now. Oh my god, that's a lot of strength. Look at how much strength that is for black. I think that's so cool, being at the corner like that. For like this whole outside influence, which is based around a Chinese Fuseki. That's cool. White approaches, black plays up, which always makes me uncomfortable. I usually play down at this point when they already have R10 present. Because this this always feels weird. Like, I'm never going to play a move like R, R whatever this is, uh, 8. So I wouldn't want to play this variation because I'm kind of worried about like moves like this, right? But apparently black doesn't even care. Attaches, I guess we don't worry about that anymore, which is good. Making shape. Making shape. I like making shape. Shape's good. Strengthening. And then going into an approach. So it looks like right now the game is kind of even, right? Black's got a uh, dead corner lower left hand, which is sad, but good for white. The right's pretty defended. We're getting to a double approach. The upper right is white. We've got upper left hand corner nice and secured. Black's got some influence, but we kept it like under wraps. It's not really growing while attacking us too much right now. So the game seems kind of, you know, kind of okay. Not unfortunate just yet. Highly defensive move, admitting quite nicely that yes, my opponent is strong around me, so I'm not going to do anything weird here. Just going to take myself my territory. White pokes. Because, I mean, if you can get this move out of black, oh my god. That's, 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 that's amazing. Instead... White is clearly in the driver's seat. He's doing pretty well. He's up in territory. Even now, there's like Aji here in the 3 3 point a little bit. So Black's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta turn the tables. Time to attack this group. It's the only group on the board that's weak right now. If I'm gonna be able to do anything here, I gotta attack this thing. Casual as you please, going for some shapes. Atari, right? No, not Atari. Odd. But alright, gotten some shape now. Looks like we're doing okay. Poke? Yep, still doing okay. Puck out the eye. Time to come out. Building up influence, not really sure to what yet. Not really sure to what yet. Tower here is kind of nice because we can go ahead and cut right now, and that's really good for us, which means can't let it happen. Bam, co time. First co threat, threaten to take away the group, not good. Comes out from second angle. Takes defense. And connects on up the stone. Now, there are a couple of reasons why this stone is really good. Anyone know what this stone's doing? I'm sure a few of you do.
No time to S6. No, and it's not going to kill it anyway. It's live. After S5, you're good. There I got the deal. So what is this stone doing here for black? There are a couple of things it's doing. There are a few. Yes, Morinda. 017 is now against the wall. Connects up our uh, probing stone. Keeps him low. Which is why white identifies that he's okay here. He's got moves like this still. He's fine. So he defends against that second thing. The attacking of the 017 stones. That right there is really important. It's like, can my opponent really do anything right now? Maybe not. Maybe not. Looks like we're okay. We got like this out. We got like a large base here that can extend from it still. Time to something else. Connects. Threatens to cut through again. Getting all of that influence. All that influence. Is it worth anything? Not really sure right now, but we're still looking. We're still looking. Probe. Life. Are we really alive right now? Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah, we are. Because of that probe. Got it. Essentially, if we are trying to kill right now, let's say we do something like... Ooh, I don't know. This? Into like this? Then you have to be careful because the corner's now a little bit in trouble, right? So it looks like we're doing okay here for white. So it's time to grow. We've got that middle area now. Y comes out. Q4, like, it's like it pokes the eye. Q4. Oh, no, not yet. It tries to. But be careful to cut. Follow up is very, very big because we've got this wall here, the wall down here, wall on the right. And now I've got to group the attack again. Poking through, really, really huge because of what we just discussed in the lower hand corner. We don't want to uh, be uncomfortable here. Time to try to live. Took a point. Now, small question. Is Black alive or dead right now? Lower hand corner. Is Black alive or dead? dead, huh? I have to say, that is, that is very unfortunate that Black's dead. Do you know why that's unfortunate that Black's dead? Because last time, last time someone tried to kill Black, they wound up dying. Hmm. That's, that's unfortunate. So it looks like black's dead. You're, you're right. It looks like those stones are dead. That means white's in a lot of trouble. 
Because one does not simply walk in and kill Kiss 88. Defends himself. It's like, am I alive? It's like, no, you dead. It's like, oh. Really? Yeah. No, 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 we're live here, we're live here. We're just, uh, don't mind, don't mind me, we're just going after that middle again. Black is dead and white is ultra dead, I know, right? Poking in to come in, trying to keep him out, poking in to come in, cut that off, white jumps on in. Once again, it looks like this game. I mean, oh my god, the right hand side. Oh, it looks so nice. We killed the bottom left hand corner. The right is dead. Everything is going well for white. Just gotta reduce a little bit of the middle now. That's all. Reduce a little bit of the middle. Bam! Reduced. Fallen back. Look how small this area is getting. Like, whatever. I could literally care less what you're doing right now, Black. We are absolutely fine. So what happens here? What happens? Looks like it's a straightforward game. A lot of territory on the right, territory on the left, upper left hand corner, white's got, or black's got some center. So what happens? What the heck happens in this freaking game? Can anyone tell me? I don't even have any idea even like where to begin to come back in this game. Like, where's our Aji? What can we possibly do to turn this, what is going to be a very unfortunate game, around? What can we do? Hmm. Corner Aji, which corner? What corner we got? White right group weak. Actually, it starts right here. Look at me, I'm creating a G. Can I create a Seki here? It's like, nope. It's like, oh, can I create a Ko here? Do I have a Ko? You smell the cow? Anyone else smell that lovely cow that's occurring? Play the Hane. We get cut, regretfully. White jumps on it, like, don't worry, we're out of here. Looks like we're fine. Looks like we're still fine. We're kind of fine. We're having problems here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got a problem here. Going into the co. Oh my god. Where's our threats? Quick. Someone show threats. Threat, right hand side, got it. Answer. Threat, middle of the board, got it. Threat, right hand side again. Got it. Threat, middle of the board, got it. Threat, top of the board. 
cleared. Okay. So. The entire bottom of the board is dead for black. Entire bottom of the board is dead for black. Looks like we had one simple job. Don't create complication while we're in a commanding position. Now, can we live here? Seeking out the RG. Seeking out the RG. Now, who can find the beautiful move right now? Don't get distracted. Find the beautiful move. Where's the beautiful move? Black has a great move here. Where is it? 018, swing and a miss. You just let him live. L15, not the beautiful move. M18, who was that? Go, gentlemen. You cheater. You're like nine done. Yes, beautiful move is M18. We're threatening to connect up right now with the 018 move that you suggested there, Cliff us. And we are also threatening to go left and connect up. So now we've got a stick and we're actually poking out his eyes. So we need plan B. Looking for eyes still, looking for eyes still. Where are those lovely eyes? That's, nope, wrong move. That's false. You have an Atari. You can take. That's never an eye. I can make shape in the center of the board. But we can quite literally poke and poke that out. Cut off from here. We take at least once. Poking still. Poking still. Poking still, but there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. Can't even get one friggin' eye, man. Just can't catch a break here. Play the Atari. That doesn't really work out. We play here, but that's not really an eye now, is it? We can connect, doesn't really go anywhere. You can clamp, that doesn't go anywhere. And now there's just no, nothing we can do. It all died and now black wins by resign. This is seriously unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate, very, very unfortunate. Now, it gets more unfortunate than that. Black was KISS 88 in both games. And White was the same player in both games. So, back to back, he killed his opponent stones and then lost the game. Both both games, back to back, he learned a powerful lesson. His opponent said, you kill me, and you die. Apparently, that was not a lesson. Apparently, that was not a lesson that uh, that, that player enjoyed learning. Because... Let me get this right. Let me get this right. I have the data closed. One second. Let me get this correct. How many times did they play after that? They played. How many times after that? 
Uh, da -da, one, two, three. They played five, six, no, six, seven, eight. They played eight games. Um, they didn't really go very well for, for the guy. Unfortunately, Kiss won all of them but one. Yes, yes, exactly. Yep, exactly correct. That is who he played. Let's see, one second real quick. I need to bring up this other thing real fast. Yeah, I don't think I am going to go over, or am I? Yeah, I hadn't planned on it, but let's do this. Let's end on a high note. Let's end on a high note. One last game. One last game. Um, speaking of which, I don't want to do that, so let's kill the... Sound stones off, thank you. Oh crap, that's a mute. One moment, please. You, stop playing sounds. Okay. So this game, uh, Kiss is white. And Kichu is black. So this time black is in, so this time white is in, uh, is Kiss. Always feel awkward in this area. Low approach into Pincer because he wants to start fighting and you know why. He's just won a bunch of games, why not? Now this one's interesting. He's not actually doing this, any kind of like variations here to get into fights. He's just kind of calm and cool and collected and playing diagonals into Kobayashi. And then he approaches close. We don't usually see that, but he did play this. So those of you who study, those of you who study, you might have seen this before. So what are we gonna see right now? Does anyone know the modern variation? Modern reply that makes this okay to do. Anyone know? Because usually we teach, no, don't, 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 don't go too close to this. This is, ooh. But nowadays, it used to be we didn't do this because it was just like really weird, you know? Like we can do something like this, but then this doesn't really go anywhere. And then it'd be like, we tried to attack. It didn't really do anything. And now we're about to get capped. It's like a really, really awkward situation. So we never did it. But now we're actually gonna play here as Go Gentleman says, because he's a 9 down, therefore he pays attention to the latest and greatest of all the Go things. Black tries to fight it. White descends for an, an old idea. We've been seeing this kind of idea here, like, since forever. Like, this was an interesting way of dealing with the Chinese uh, variations earlier on. Or like you could threaten this and then like get an approach, a nice safer approach under the three four, or you split and then the extension stones cut off. This gets surrounded, that gets undercut. So we're still as black. We're still willing to fight and try to kill our opponent who slaughters us every time we kill him. So this guy doesn't back down from anything. And if you learn nothing else, if you learn nothing else from any of these games, you should learn that mindset. Because the players who start getting too afraid to fight or start backing down a lot, those are the players that don't keep progressing. If you want to keep progressing in your, go in your games, don't back down. Throw in, doesn't care. 
Just give me that glorious influence. Oh, look at that glorious influence. Uh, you, and then cut through. Now I got a wall here. Excellent. Keep wall intact. Does not even care about the Atari. Goes for more of the development of the influence. Comes out. This one is an interesting move, because it's starting a ladder here, right? Like, we Atari here, and then Atari here. And, okay, it's not really a ladder. We, I guess we could ladder if we wanted to, or we can Atari it straight down, like, whatever. So I'm starting to kill off those three stones, this move is. Stay out. Stay out. And now we are truly fighting because he's trying to go after the corner and the outside at the same time. So we try to juggle both of them. Try to juggle both of them. Now this actually works because we can't really do this, right? Because not only is that not quite alive yet, but you're also like sacrificing these stones now. Which is how you can get away with playing this way. Right? So we Atari instead. Semi Atari instead. Can't really go anywhere now. Defends his stone. Looks like Black is actually killing off his uh, Black stone. Er, yeah, Black's actually killing off White stones now. As we've been seeing. But he's a lot of influence, and he's killing off stones. Okay. Takes that, so these three stones on the, on the left side aren't going to die. But that means that those stones are cut off. Now look at this. This is thickness right here, ladies and gentlemen. This literally spans past half the board. Almost down through all of it. If we can kill off these three sto four stones, then the influence actually spans an entire wall from top to bottom. Like, even Trump would be like, that That wall is way too expensive. Alright, so we approach, trying to get rid of all of what we just saw. Black retaliates by fighting, putting pressure. We're not going to just, like, back off right now and be like, alright, there's that now. Black, Black is looking amazing this game. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we wouldn't do this, because now suddenly it's really easy to live in here, and then what do you do? do you, like, you cap that to try to build off this side? Like, yeah. Easier to just be like, boom. Hopefully our opponent plays in here, and we get to do this, Jaseki. This would be amazing, because then we're just like building up all the things. Unfortunately, our opponent is not going to be that kind, and he's going to attach to try... Not attach to that, sorry. He's going to attach and try to reduce... Got a response on in. Change directions. This I like as well. Usually you probably thought that he's going to play here, but if you do that, you might instantly see something like this before there. So we're kind of getting in the middle. Black is saying the middle is important to me. You are never going to Atari that stone, ever. So I'm going, to ta I'm going to play here. White gets the corner. Now we take. We're nice and solid, nice and strong. We do play this. Does anyone know why? Why do we play it, eh? Why do we play it, eh? This just doesn't come up very often nowadays, so I thought I would go ahead and ask. There's a good reason why we play it, eh? So we don't get pincered. It's uh, a bit more vicious than that, actually. So we don't get this. This is an irritating move. 
This right here is frustrating. Choice one is to play here. And that sucks, because are you really alive right now? Like, locally, are you really alive in that corner? Really, really alive in that corner? So that kind of sucks. Now you can play here, but we can't double Hane or we're dead. We still can't Hane or we're dead. And now I think we're, we're just dead. So this could actually kill off the corner, legitimately. This could actually kill it. So we play here as a really great defense. There's no shenanigans here. And always keep that in mind when we see that. Comes on in, gets kicked in the teeth. Got a large corner for ourselves, a bit of a uh, growing corner. There's a 3-3 vulnerabilities, of course. We're not really interested in that. We're interested in the center. So we're going to poke. White decides to fight back. It's like, how much can you really make here? White asks Black. Black says, I can make a lot here, son. It's like, are you making more than I am? Because if you're not making more than I am, then I don't care about your middle. Stones are being sacrificed. Who cares about who cares about approaching stones when you have all of the middle, right? Looks like a little bit like a twenty Q game at this point. The fact that they're just like following each other along on the board, right? A little bit, just just a little. It's like okay, extend, 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 extend. But lots are going on right here. Like, this whole side's being taken. The top whole side's being taken. Comes in. Plays the Atari. Now that right there is about as brazen as I've ever seen a game. He is trying to take the entire center. White played a move in the middle to try to live and reduce that, and he's just like, I don't even care. It's like, I know you've been beating me down repeatedly, but I am not afraid of you. I am not afraid of you at all. You jump, you're creating Aji. Beware. It's alright, time to live. Ignored. Taking more territory on the bottom. And then go back to its original attack. That right side's not really as large as it used to be, huh? I mean, if white gets one, or if black gets one, sorry, that puts threats at the 3 3. So one's probably Sente, yeah? And then it's just, like, this area here? I mean, it's big, but not quite as big as it was a second ago. Opponent attaches to you, you do not Hane, you, that creates cutting points, and Aji, so we extend. Connecting on up nicely. Looking to live, looking to live. Cut point, don't double Hane. Creates uh, bad stuff. Protect cut points. Looking for two eyes here, trying to deny. You can see how this is not really life right now. Right? Because we're actually making like this, like, we're making this right now, right? All of these want to be stones. So we're quite literally making a box right now. And everyone here can get that life and death problem right. Everyone here can like look here and go, boom, I poke at that one. And my opponent's dead. 
right? So we can't just connect. Got to try something else. You can see him trying to enlarge his area here because of the sequence that we just saw. Or the, the shape that we saw, sorry. So now we've enlarged it. So now we're looking at this. Now we're looking at this. Which looks a little bit more like life, right? But we've got throw-ins still, don't we? And if we can put a stone... Well, might as well show. Yeah, there. That gets placed there. Which allows us to do the throw-in. And then we extend. Because if he captures... Then we can do the same thing on this side, right? Either this way or this way. So white tries to come down. Defending all the cut points makes up nice and secure. No eyes for him there. Ah, do, 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 do. Wrong. How did I get that wrong? Oh, drop down in there. Gotcha. Gets rid of Aji. Throws in. Turns. Looks like no Aji to be had for you. Uh, I would take... Yeah, okay, good. And KISS88 had to resign. Kichu never backed down, kept challenging him over and over and over again, kept uh, trying to kill him repeatedly despite it not going well. But it finally happened. He actually won a game. Now, what makes this uh, more interesting... More interesting than that, you have to keep in mind right now that Kiss88, he is 45 and 4 against professionals only. He's 45 and 4. He's only lost 4 games against professional players. And this game's have to be one of them. But if you're going to lose a game, this is a game you want to lose, because this is this is an amazing game. It's very, very bold from someone who just would never back down. Play you six times in a row, who cares? One of the times, I'll get you. So I hope you enjoyed today's Unfortunate Games. Hope you enjoyed this game where he actually managed to finally secure the win against him. I'll, of course, be back next week. And, uh... Was this the last game? No, this was not the last game. They played three more times after this. They played three more times after that game. But of course, I'll be back Wednesday. I'll probably be back uh, Monday again. I'll probably try to have a more reasonable streaming uh, time for maybe some Europeans or something. I don't know. We did uh, like a 12.30 stream or something last week. Might do that again. I don't know. I do want to do a night stream at some point, so you can look forward to that if you're following me. Which I imagine you are. And yeah, I'm going to go eat now. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. I'll have this on YouTube a couple of days. If you want to watch it again, or if you miss some of it, and I will of course see you all next.